Okay. So, we are now in session 27. Uh, we have finished our main study of words, but uh, some kind of words still remain to handle uh, and one of them is compound words. So, uh, just read out the first two lines. Afternoon, airport, backbone, bedroom, blackboard, bookshelf, brainwash, candlestick, carefree, classmate. Meanings are on all known, very simple. Common place, cross check, deadlock, door knob, earthquake, everything, eyesight, fingerprint, firework, football. Good. Poor word, grandfather, grassland, graveyard, haircut, head edge, headache, headache, headache ink pot, jackfruit, keyboard, lifetime, limestone. Okay. Moonlight, nearby, newspaper, nightfall, notebook, overcome, paperweight, passport, quarrelsome, railway, rainbow. Okay. Schoolboy, seashore, sit back, sunshine, textbook, toothpaste, throw away, uh, underground, uppermost, viewpoint, watchman, waterproof, weekend, widespread, yourself. Uh, forward. Um, you people know forward. What is forward? Forward. Preface, preface kind of thing. Okay, so that is forward. The word which goes before the book or at the starting of the book. Okay, yeah. What I want to um, uh, point out particularly in this is that when you write these words, uh, you write them together without hyphen. Okay. Many people make the mistake here, they write back separately and bone separately and that is not backbone. Okay. So, be careful on this. Uh, maybe let us try this exercise quickly and orally. Um, try replacing uh, some groups of words from here uh, with uh, some suitable compound words. How will you rewrite this sentence by that? Her eyesight is perfect. Her eyesight, eyes, eyesight is perfect. Okay. So, vision of her eyes is her eyesight. Okay. Here, big backpack. Okay. Fine. Next, this one. Yeah, planning a party around the weekend. Around the weekend. This one. The stalls on the roadside sold local. You can also as well say the roadside stalls. Okay. Next, final. He has some experience of controlling a mm. campfire. 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 Okay. So, such things you can do. Okay. We have uh, till now seen quite a few um, collections of verbs. Uh, yet another collection uh, is here. Yes. Absorb. Acute. 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 Okay. Advanced. Here, so far as verbs are concerned, we wanted to ensure that everybody knows the meaning. Absorb, you know the meaning? Acquit. What is the meaning of acquit? Exonerate. Beautiful. To uh, release from a charge. Okay. So, if you are accused and then you establish your innocence, then you are acquitted. Okay. Advance. Matlab? Verb. Move forward. Move forward, yes. In space or in time. Okay. Apply. Apply, everybody knows almost. Bide. 
bide is actually almost archaic except in idiomatic use to bide one's time means to look for a suitable opportunity. Blame. Blame, pata hai? Bloom. Bloom. Boost. Boost. Bada dina, thik hai? To increase. Brood. What is the meaning? Think seriously. Good. Buckle. Buckle. To put a fastener also, to fasten something that is also buckle, you buckle your shoes, okay, one, two, buckle my shoe, okay. And otherwise, buckle is to bend or warp under pressure, okay. Bangle. Bangle, fine. Bigar lena, garbara lena. Change. Okay. Choke. Choke. To stop uh, supply of something? Suffocate. Suffocate, yes. Okay. Continue. Choose. Okay. Cobble. Cobble means to uh, do some leather work. Okay. Confirm. Okay. Confirm everybody knows to nishit karna. Okay. Confirm. Conquer. Okay. Jeetna. Consist. Consist. Convict. Convict. What is convict? Charged guilty. Who is sentenced as guilty? Cook. You cope. know. Cope. Cope matlab? To face the beer. Manage karna. Aha, matlab ki koi muskil halat ko manage karna. Thik hai. Crave. Uh, too long. Too long for something. Yes. Chahna, buri tarah se chahna, thik hai, cure, thik hai, thik thak karna, typically with disease. Differ. Postpone. Denote. Denote. Highlight. Not highlight. To mark. To represent, to represent. Let x denote this variable, okay. Depend. Matlab? Depend. Nirbhar hona, thik. Debtor. 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 Debtor matlab? Rokna. Koi garbar kaam tum karne jaare ho, aam tum ko debtor kar sakte hai. Dine. Dine matlab? Biscuit khayenge to usko dine bolenge? Nahi. Thik hai? Ab kisi ka biscuit hi agar khana ho to phir chale ga. Dismiss? Dismiss. Chhod dena. Release kar dena. Aur aksar negative connotation hai iska, ki nogi se nikal liya gaya. या जो है कोई मीटिंग थी मीटिंग में बैठे हुए थे वो बोले कि तुम यहाँ से अब जा सकते हो ठीक है ड्राइव ड्राइव नहीं है ये डाइव है डाइव मतलब गोता लगाना ठीक है डोप डोप मतलब टू मिक्स यस मिलावट करना डोट डोट मतलब डोट To express extreme affection as a matter of habit, she dotes on her son. The teacher always dotes on this particular student. Okay? Dose. Matlab? Sleep. Uh, not exactly sleep. Yeah. Uh, sleep is more respectable. Nap. Nap. Nap also is respectable enough. Umna. As if you are illegally sleeping, you know. You are supposed to study or you are supposed to listen to a lecture and then you do this like this. So, that is you are dozing, okay. Next, drive. Drive, drive matlab? Hindi karenge to kya bolenge? Chalana. Chalana ya? Gari ko chalana, billi ko bhagana. Thik hai? Emerge. Emerge matlab? To come out. To come out, yes. Fade. Fade. Diminish. Uh, yes, diminish is a good uh, close point. Fake. So, uh, fake. Not real. Uh, you are talking about the adjective meaning. Okay. To, pre to pretend. Uh, fake. Ah, that is a good one. 
he is saying, uh, saying fein, f e i g n okay fek koi nakli mal asli ke naam se chalane ki koshish karna fondal matlab dular karna not coax coax is if you are trying to urge somebody to do something okay and fondal is just uh, dular karna okay a, a caress lovingly yes fawn fawn to make yes fumble fumble okay uh, haglana type ka uh, actually to get hold of something clumsily to get hold of something clumsily for example if i try to hold this pen and then say like this okay then i will be fumbling sometimes you also fumble for a suitable word okay i am trying to ensure that you don't do that gaze matlab stare intently ek tak dekhna glide glide matlab to move smoothly not necessarily sudden okay gobble there is a difference between slide and glide in slide there may be effort there may be resistance in glide there is very little resistance very little effort involved frictionless okay gobble bhakozna yes eat voraciously group group kisi cheez ko pakadne ki koshish karna grip karne ki koshish karna wo hi dhila dala theek hai gazel gazel jo cheez tum solid ke sath gobble karte ho liquid ke sath gazel karoge theek hai there are some people who gazel a lot of uh, tea coffee some people do worse they gazel a lot of uh, more dangerous liquids okay पर मतलब नुकसान पहुंचाना हेम्पर बाधा पहुंचाना फायर मतलब किराए पे लेना हो सकता है या रिक्रूट करना भी हो सकता है ओके टू रिक्रूट और टू टेक ऑन रेंट फाइन एवरीबडी नोज एवरीबडी हैज आई होप जल्दबाजी करना हड़बड़ाना मतलब नो 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 इम्प्रेस इज नॉट खुश होना इम्प्रेस इज टू मेक ए मार्क ऑन ओके दबाव डाला प्रेस किया उसे एक निशान बना तो इम्प्रेस हुआ मैंने कुछ इतना सुंदर सा बताया कि आप सारे लोग बोले कि अरे वाह ये तो जबरदस्त है सो आई इम्प्रेस यू ओके जम्बल ऑर्डर बिगाड़ देना अरेंजमेंट बिगाड़ देना एंटाइस यस एंटाइस इज ए वेरी गुड मीनिंग ओके मैनेज 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 तो सब कोई जानता है सब मैनेज करते हैं मर्ज मिलाना या मिलना ठीक है दो स्टेट मर्ज करके एक स्टेट बन सकते हैं और सेंटर की तरफ से दो स्टेट को मर्ज करवाया भी जा सकता है ठीक है सो so, एक केस में बिना ऑब्जेक्ट का भर्ब होगा दूसरे केस में ऑब्जेक्ट लेकर होगा ओ उधार रखना आई ओ यू टेन रुपीज मतलब कि तुम्हारा दस रुपये मेरे पास है जो मैं तुम्हें बाद में दूंगा होपफुली मतलब टालना या हाँ मेरा डेट पीछे करना ढंग से भी कर सकते हैं अनाउंस करके प्रेफर नहीं 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 to choose something rather than something else okay prove sabit karna quote kisi ki baat ko as it is batana ki mahatma gandhi ne kaha tha uske mahatma gandhi ne jo kaha tha do sentence wo lagatar waise ko waise bata diya gaya that is to quote okay and the corresponding thing which i am saying is called quotation okay reduce matlab kam kam karna kam karna yes aage refer refer allude yes to allude batana ki ye cheez aapko phalana dictionary mein milega theek hai to phalana dictionary ko refer kiya gaya 
रिफॉर्म रिफॉर्म मतलब सुधार करना टू टू चेंज टूअर्ड्स ए पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन यस रिगार्ड मतलब इज्जत करना टू रेस्पेक्ट और टू कंसीडर ओके रिजेक्ट खारिज करना रिमार्क रिमार्क ओ रिमार्क मतलब पॉइंट आउट पॉइंट आउट करना है पॉइंट आउट करना रिपोर्ट रिपोर्ट खबर देना रिटायर रिटायर मतलब नो रिटायर मीन्स फ्रॉम एक्टिव पोजिशन टू कम बैक ओके सो एट ओल्ड एज वी टिपिकली रिटायर फ्रॉम आवर जॉब इन रेलवे स्टेशन आफ्टर रीचिंग द प्लेस वी रिटायर टू द रिटायरिंग रूम ओके वी आर टायर्ड ओके सो वी रिटायर सो फर्स्ट वी आर टायर्ड देन वी रिटायर ओके रिट्रीट रिट्रीट subside withdraw uh, withdraw not something but oneself okay piche hatna retreat ride ride matlab sawari karna kis stage ka ghode ka cycle ka motorcycle ka theek hai scare scare darana buri tarah se darana okay scrape scrape kisi bartan type ke cheez se ya metallic surface se kuch kharoch ke nikalna that is स्क्रेप स्टेट सेटल सेटल मतलब ठीक ठाक कर देना टू कम टू एन एग्रीमेंट और टू रीच द बॉटम ऑफ सम प्लेस ओके शटल शटल टू मूव टू एंड फ्रो इधर से उधर उधर से इधर ठीक है जैसा शटल कॉक करता है स्केट मतलब टू ग्लाइड ऑन ए सरफेस स्लाइड स्लाइड इज जस्ट टू मूव रिलेटिव टू समथिंग ओवर ए सरफेस चोरी चोरी कोई सामान ले आना स्नोर स्नोर खर्राटे लेना ओके टू मेक ए नेशनल साउंड ड्यूरिंग स्लीपिंग सूथ सूथ आराम देना यस स्पेयर Spare, release, to release. State. Batana. Steal. Everybody knows. Story karna. Stoop. Stoop. Matlab jhuk jana. ठीक है? Strangle. Strangle. Asphyxiate. Yes. Gala dawa dena. Asphyxiate. Stroke. Stroke. Thapki dena. Struggle. Struggle. Sangharsh karna. Submit. Jama karna. And nivedan karna. supply supply uh, as uh, in response to a demand okay fair shapas lena ya gali dena yes yes nipatna tally nishan laga dena ki ha ho gaya ginti karte hue nishan lagate jana that is tally tire tire matlab थकना मेनी पीपल थिंक सो लेकिन एक्चुअली टायर इज नॉट थकना टायर इज थकाना बिकॉज यू से आई एम टायर्ड ओके यू नेवर से आई टायर्ड आई टायर ओके आई एम टायर्ड सो हाँ सो कोई काम है जो कि थका देता है इट इज अ टायरिंग जॉब हिज स्टेटमेंट इज राइट सो द जॉब टायर्स समबड़ी सो ये बड़ा अजीब वर्ड है एक्चुअली टायर का मतलब होता है थकाना ट्यून वो तो नाउन है धोन इज नाउन ओके फ्रीक्वेंसी ठीक करना मतलब कि फ्रीक्वेंसी मैच करना है या फ्रीक्वेंसी ठीक करना है या पिच साउंड का जो है साउंड का पिच को एडजस्ट करना ठीक ठाक करना अर्ज रिक्वेस्ट स्ट्रांगली ओके टू रिक्वेस्ट स्ट्रांगली उसको खास तौर पर प्लीज करो ना वेरी वेरी बदलना वेव वेव 
to and fro motion karna okay so you it can be like this or it can be like this okay it has a connection with wave tarang why poshna who matlab kisi ko manana khas tar pe shaadi ke liye theek hai patani patana actually worry worry matlab chinta karna chinta karna yes zoom zoom तेजी से पास आ जाना अक्सर साउंड के साथ लेकिन आपके स्क्रीन में जब कोई सीन जूम होता है तो साउंड ना भी हो सकता है आप स्क्रीन को जूम करते हैं ना सो दैट जस्ट कम्स क्लोज टू यू इन फैक्ट इन इफेक्ट इट एक्चुअली इंक्रीजेज इन साइज ओके फाइन सो लॉट्स ऑफ वर्ड्स ओके वी हैव सीन अर्लियर हैव प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म then we saw have been plus third form what about have been plus fifth form let us have a look at that we slowly go to that okay first have plus third form one example read out this sentence i have taken a house on rent from my friend i have taken maine ek ghar liya hai maine dost se kiraye par ek ghar liya hai dost se liya hai jis dost ko hum pehle se jante the और पहले उस दोस्त का घर हुआ करता था शायद जाते भी थे ठीक है आई हैव बीन अ गेस्ट इन दैट हाउस अ फ्यू टाइम्स अर्लियर मतलब मैं उस घर में मेहमान रह चुका हूं कई बार कई बार पहले कई बार उस घर में मैं मेहमान रह चुका हूं जब मेरा दोस्त रहता था वहां पर अब देखो आई हैव टेकन मैंने लिया है आई हैव बीन ओके मैं रहा हूं ओके okay? so here the third form is third form of b okay immediately after that i can put a fifth form also have been fifth form okay just read out this i have been living in house since last monday i have taken a rent na taken it on rent so since last monday i have been living i am living mai reh raha hu i have lived mai raha hu i have been living dono मैं रहा हूं और रह रहा हूं ठीक है रहता आ रहा हूं सो कंटिन्यूस आई एम लिविंग इज सम एक्शन व्हिच इज गोइंग ऑन आई हैव लिव्ड इज कंप्लीटेड एक्शन आई हैव बीन लिविंग इज एक्शन हैज स्टार्टेड वेल इन अर्लियर बट येट इट इज कंटिन्यूइंग स्टिल इट इज कंटिन्यूइंग ओके सो दैट काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन इज एक्सप्रेस विथ have plus been which is the third form of be verb helping verb plus the fifth form of the actual verb okay now we have learned quite a few tense structures and let us see a comparison of many of them together we take tea at 6 pm usually matlab aam taur pe hum log 6 baje chai peete hain aam taur par hum log 6 baje chai peete hain usually okay there is a regular practice in present okay today we have taken tea early aaj hum logon ne chai jaldi liye aaj hum logon ne chai jaldi li hai have taken completed action okay during the winter we used to take tea at this time thandi ke samay ha thand ke samay is samay chai lete the ha thand ke samay hum log is samay chai lete the aaj jaldi liya hai which is abnormal ओके ठंड के समय विंटर के समय जो है यही रेगुलर टाइम हुआ करता था ओके हैबिचुअल पास्ट अब पास्ट में एक पर्टिकुलर एक खास दिन की बात ऑन द डे ऑफ द अर्थक्वेक वी टुक टी अराउंड 5:30 ओके वी टुक टी भूकंप के दिन हम लोगों ने 5:30 बजे चाय लिया था ये सिंपल पास्ट है एक बार की घटना नॉट यूज्ड टू एक बार की घटना वी टुक उस दिन की बात बता रहे हैं we had taken tea much before the tremors started matlab kampan shuru hone ke kafi pehle hum logon ne chai le li thi ye past ke us time ke reference mein baat ho rahi hai jab bhukamp ka kampan shuru hua aur uske pehle hi completed action had plus third form theek hai us din ka chai pina khatam ho chuka tha ye कंपन शुरू होने के पहले अर्थक्वेक शुरू होने के पहले ओके 
after tea we had been chatting when we fell them first matlab us samay hum log baat kar rahe the chai peene ke baad chai ke baad hum log gappe kar rahe the jab pehli baar hum logon ko kampan mehsoos hua theek hai to pehli baar kampan mehsoos hua se time ka reference mila simple past mein aur us samay hum log kafi pehle se shuru karke continue kar rahe the kya karna gap karna chai ke baad theek hai so have plus been plus fifth form jo kaam past mein kisi earlier time pe shuru ho chuka tha aur reference time tak continue ho raha tha jab ye reference ki ghatna hui theek hai so this is the typical context okay the watchman will have been noticing their activities sentence is not completed for quite some time before they will recognize him ye wahi cheez future mein hai whatever was done here in past now that same thing is being done in future and the same structure comes here also the watchman at a future reference time and what is that reference time they will recognize him the watchman watchman ko pehchanne ke pehle kafi der se watchman un logon ke chal chalan ko theek se dekh raha hoga theek hai khatarnak hai the watchman will have been noticing future time pe will pehle se kaam shuru karke continue karta rahega watchman have been noticing kya their activities unke je kriya kalap theek hai for quite some time kafi der se kab before they will recognize him kyunki jab dekhenge ye log kya rahe ye to watchman hai tab apna kriya kalap thoda band kar denge na thoda savdhan ho jayenge ab sawal uthta hai कि क्यों वॉचमैन को पहले रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं किया जाएगा लो, उन लोगों ने अपना क्रियाकलाप गड़बड़ सर्वर शुरू करने के पहले ख्याल नहीं किया कि वॉचमैन बैठा है क्यों वाई विल ही नॉट हैव बीन रिकॉग्नाइज ये ही जो है वो वॉचमैन है ठीक है वाई विल ही नॉट हैव बीन रिकॉग्नाइज ऐसा होता है ठीक है have been recognized have been third form okay ye kaun se tense kaun se voice mein hua passive passive voice mein hua why will he not have been recognized earlier wo pehle kyon pehchana ja chuka nahi hoga karan ye hai ki plain clothes mein tha theek hai okay so you should be thorough with these structures and never confuse so for that you need some practice okay hmm the assignment is supposed to give you some practice on this right now we go into another um, very simple topic which is halts and stops at the end of quarter 1 we had a quick discussion on uh, punctuation signs now let us have another discussion uh, which is also quick but a little longer than the earlier one full stop is the most obvious uh, punctuation mark and that typically comes with uh, comes at the end of an ordinary sentence and there are other places also where it comes where really you do not fully stop and that is for abbreviations dr a p j abdul kalam was the president okay nowadays there is a tendency to omit this dot okay now it is there is a um, it is quite often practiced this practice that you write doctor and then just give space no dot similarly a p j that also nowadays runs well but this is a classical rule comma you use for uh, small pauses okay to enumerate things or for some other purposes first is to enumerate a list of nouns the teams are from india pakistan and nepal so you put a comma here okay in this enumeration last one here comma you can omit now it is uh, very few people put this comma similar thing you can do not with nouns but with adjectives also ashoka was a kind wise brave and powerful king all these adjectives are actually qualifying king okay you can do that for verbs also the cruel caretaker scolds beats and tortures the boys three verbs listed okay very cruel indeed 
so many bad things he does. Okay. Now, for a pause intended to convey the meaning more clearly, you can put a comma. This scheme is of great value, particularly for students. You have put the comma in order to drive home the point that this scheme is of great value in general and then in particular you are putting students in focus particularly for students. Others also it is of great value, but uh, not so particularly that is the idea. Okay. Sometimes a little segment of the sentence is demarcated by one comma before and one comma later and in writing it is comma in speech it is the pause the pages which I marked need correction. This kind of phrase is quite often referred to as parenthetic phrase as if this phrase is this clause actually in this case which I marked this part is as if under parenthesis within brackets. Then the normal sentence runs the pages need correction which pages which I marked. Okay. So, the pages which I marked need correction. So, which I marked is separated by two pauses at two boundaries. Okay. Similar thing you do with this situation also the criticisms however mild damage our mission. In fact, we say this is parenthetic, but this actually uh, emphasizes this however mild issue as if without that also the sentence was complete, but I made a point to mention that that is even if it is mild criticism take it seriously. Okay. Semicolon, semicolon is a larger pause for more important business okay. and quite often a lot of things with comma separation uh, gets uh, cluttered and at the end a semicolon comes to demarcate this separation from others. Okay. We want social, economic and political justice, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship and equality, amity, solidarity and unity among people. So, we want several things justice of these kinds, liberty of these kinds and these things among people. Okay. Question mark everybody knows okay. at the end of a question. So, full stop, comma, semicolon, question mark these are the most prominent ones and of course, this note of exclamation is basically to mark a uh, to make a comment which is uh, you know uh, showing wonder or great sorrow or something like that. This is dash okay, punctuation dash. I talked to four of my colleagues all of them fathers of young children these two dashes are separating this all of them fathers of young children from the rest of the sentence about the curriculum. Okay. Hyphen is to connect two words together just now we saw uh, words together without hyphen now this is an ex example of with hyphen a short term course is taught over a short term make note here there is no hyphen okay. this short is adjective to term here short term together is adjective to the course. Okay. Colon is for listing they needed five things capital, land, labor, raw materials and market. Okay. You give this apostrophe to make possessive Hari's book boys here S is already there in the plural. So, apostrophe comes after that alone not boys's to emphasize he will make no objection to the process you follow as long as the objectives are fulfilled okay. object oriented he wants he demands result and he does not care about the process. Okay. So, these two words are emphasized this is for reporting speech directly okay. she replied open this the flight is delayed by an hour then close this 
and here you put a comma typically and this full stop does the double duty of completing the speech as well as completing the parent sentence. Okay. So, these are the typical punctuation marks which uh, you need to use and use correctly. Okay. Okay. Um, so, we stop here at this point and again continue later with session 28. Thank you.